Oh yeah, the one dollar bill. Yeah, there's like all this symbolism, the, all this symbolism, like on the back of it. Like you all seen it at the beginning, but there's a pyramid there with an eyeball on it. It's all seeing eye. I remember seeing that all seeing eye like some time on a cable commercial. Like there's an eye that kind of look a little bit similar to that one. Of course, it didn't have the glowing uh, signing thing around it, but I think you know what I mean. And when I was younger, I seen this time on a cable commercial where at the end of it, uh, I kind of looked like that showed up at the end. I was like, hmm, that's pretty odd. And then I just dubbed it the All Seeing Eye, and not knowing that that's what it was called, the All Seeing Eye. And what a, it's not a coincidence that uh, it's on the back of this dollar bill here. And what crept this, that means, will you accept this, I think. Yeah. It knows order to claw means new order of the ages, but that actually, in reality, means new world order. Over here, we got a uh, shitload of symbolism. Over there, there's like 13 olives in the eagle's uh, column there, representing the 13 colonies. Where there's a 13 eras of war, again representing the 13 colonies America had, and there's like 13 stars, again, it's representing the 13 colonies. This is pretty deliberate symbolism, they deliberately put this on the back of this one dollar bill. I don't know why, but they did. I don't know, I guess they would, I guess it is like the show off shit, I don't know. But that shit's there for a deliberate reason, they wanted there. I'm pretty sure you already know this, but in case you don't. Yeah, George Washington right there in the middle, he actually was a member of the Freemasons. Or the Illuminati, whatever you want to call them. I don't know what the fuck they're called. You know, people keep saying, oh, they're the Freemasons, the Illuminati, the Bilderberg group, or well, me. Who the hell are they exactly? Is it just one name to go by? To go by like a dozen different names. Yeah, but he was a Freemason. Eventually he became disillusioned with the Freemasons and sarcastically said he was not happy that they were operating so well in America. Yeah, he said, oh, I'm so happy Illuminati slash the Freemasons are operating so successfully in America. Yeah, he's being sarcastic. He wasn't really happy. Yeah, there's also a Federal Reserve note. Yeah, that says a lot about it, don't it? Yeah, the Federal Reserve prints these notes off and they put all this weird symbolism on the back of it. Hmm. Isn't, isn't that like a little suspicious? Maybe they're connected with the Illuminati and the Freemasons or something. Some powerful interest group. Like some secret society or some secret government. Some secret uh, organization, per se, probably. Uh is a very influential in America. We don't know about it because it's all, it's, you don't, because it's fucking hidden. It's behind the scenes, you know. Nobody knows about it. Except for conspiracy theorists like me. I'm a conspiracy theorist guy, I guess. And, yeah, and people probably think people like me are conspiracy theorists is a, a lunatic and needs to be put into a straitjacket and locked away forever. Well, I'm gonna, dismiss that and say, well, conspiracy theorists actually are pretty uh, aware of what's the fuck going on and they actually speak out against things and they they know everything. They, well, they don't know everything, but they know most of what's going on. Yeah, and yeah, I kind of get called nuts sometimes because <laughs> people don't understand what I'm saying. They usually think it's outlandish, like, no way. There can't be some government conspiracy to kill us all off, no way. Yeah, well, it's fucking gonna happen if we don't prevent it. Why do you think the government wants all the guns from a fucking Americans? Well, why don't you ponder that for a second? Why the hell would the government, a very powerful fucking group of people that have, like, a stake in society, you know, in this country, in fact, be so scared of citizens with guns for? Yeah, they're scared because it happened in the past, actually. You know, the American Revolution, when America got fucking, uh, <clears throat> beat, uh, Britain. 
yeah and so yeah history repeats itself you know what do you think is going to happen when the government takes all the guns away you think the government would just fucking let bygones be bygones and not how to do nothing endangering everyone's life no they're going to fucking take advantage of the fact that everyone's guns have been taken from them and then they're going to kill us all because we don't have anything to protect ourselves because they took our means of the defense and protection, our guns. Man, what the fuck? Oh, well, how... Uh, I don't know, how are you going to manage to defend yourself against a, a, a military unit the government sends after you without a firearm? What, are you going to punch the stupid fucks? Yeah, I'm just going to punch the military guys in the face and Wick's not getting shot, you know? I better have a gun because a gun fucking is better. If you don't, you're not very strong, a gun takes care of that all for you very easily. So, yeah. Guns are fucking good. They're not fucking weapons of mass uh, evil and, you know, they're not killing machines like the fucking people in this country seem to fucking deem them and demonize, you know, like demonize them as. They're much more than that. They're tools of the fence. Yeah, I kind of get uh, a winded conversation about the government again, you know, the Illuminati. But yeah, there was. It is not fucking far fetched to think, isn't it? Hold on, I'm trying to fucking. Hold on, I'm trying to fucking balance this so you don't have the fucking. Put it down. I'm trying to put a dollar back in there. Yeah, but it's not far fetched with me and many of you would think that there might be some secret uh, group of people in this world, or in this country probably, that has some powerful influence over everyone else. It's probably the own government itself. I tell you, the uh, US government, they don't have any real power. They just fucking get all the power from the stuff. Uh, Secret government behind the scenes, you know. And yeah, they've gotten real power. There's a bunch of figureheads like Obama. My dad's door is unlocked. I could have went in there and shown off some of his guns in there. Yeah, my dad has a fuckload of guns. He has like. Mostly this gun is from Remington and Winchester and some modern weapon, but he's, he doesn't have a fucking, uh, uh, many modern weapons. He does have like an M16 though, he doesn't use it. I don't know why, he, he has like a fucking, like, semi-automatic weapons, I guess. I think that's what is, some of his assault rifles, or I like to call them defense rifles though. So, uh, yeah, I know it probably sounds like I'm just rambling on this fucking video, I don't know, just stuff in my mind, it's just stuff in my mind I want to talk about, I'm pretty sure you're getting a nice fucking view of my anarchy wallet, it's pretty nice. <clears throat> it's a beautiful day outside, isn't it? Yeah, hope it stays like this. Well, it obviously won't because fucking winter's coming, and eventually you'll be fucking wearing jackets and shit. Oh, and my dog's trying to get out. There he is. Hello. You can see him there, can you? Yeah. Hey, puggy. Don't run off the stairs now. I don't want you to fucking get hit by a vehicle. Which is stupid. I know you would chase after one. <laughs> Nope, you stay there, don't move. Wait. <laughs> We're gonna sit here. Hello. Yeah, his name's actually Pugsley. But I call him Marbles, because he's a fucking... He acts like he does have some marbles loose in his head when he runs around in circles, like in that one video I made. 
Well, it was called me messing with my dog, Marbles. That's why I called him Marbles. All right, you come down here and go over there and piss. All right? Marbles. Well, you're in a POI. <laughs> go on. Yeah, it's kind of like a lengthy video. It's like going on like almost 11 minutes now. It's like 10 minutes and 38 seconds right now. I'm sorry this video is too long for you, but just watch it and just bear with it, alright? I don't know, I just, I'm trying to make a video, to be honest, about the Illuminati for like a couple of days now, but I didn't have a chance to do it because I was, didn't, <laughs> I'll be honest, I was mostly just rambling on about fucking shit. <laughs> And I couldn't mean no. I couldn't mean formulate words to fucking make my uh, talking coherent. I didn't mean know what to say. I love a school bus, but yeah, I get distracted easily. I don't have ADD. I don't think, or maybe I do. I know. I know this video probably feels like it's all over the fucking place. That's a good thing, right? You know, it's good I'm not just talking about the same fucking thing. What the hell is my dog doing? Pugsy, uh, Marbles, you're the most laziest dog I've ever fucking seen in my life. <laughs> well, that's my video. I'm gonna, like, end it right here. Hope you liked it, and... Enjoy it. You know, I don't really get outside a lot, so it's my risk. I just came out here to get some fresh air. So, yeah, have a nice day, everyone. Hope you like this video. See ya.